Hello and welcome back to Groundworks Plays KSP Career and in today's episode we are designing a small robotic lander to land on Minmus and that's this guy, yes. So this guy is the thing that should be landing on Minmus, fully remote controlled, do some experiments and then come back to Kerbin. Now that being said, this is only one part of the mission because the mission itself, as you can see here, is explore Minmus with probe. And it would net us a lot of cash, especially if we manage to return the craft back home. And given that I'm a little bit strapped for cash, I really need some sort of like this mission so I could dream about and plan the bigger missions to Duna, Eve and whatnot. So. Uh, however, I cannot rely on the Minmus Relay Network to be basically be constantly available to be able to carry out this task. So what I'm worried that I would lose connection Im almost immediately once I go on the Minmus dark side or something. So in order to fix this, I'm going to be sending out this lander together with a ride share adapter that will be sporting not one, two, but four relay satellites. And those relay satellites will be put at some inclination so that they provide a little bit of redundancy in terms of you know network and everything else so that's the idea i will be providing connectivity and once those are connected <clears throat> i mean once those relays are up and av available then i shall be performing the actual you know flight and landing on minmus so <clears throat> that's the kind of the gist now that being said, I'm putting these satellites, they're really tiny, they need to just be able to relay the data to and from Minmus, so I think that's good enough, let's just put some, you know, reaction wheels, really, really minimalistic, as long as they are able to do the job, I'm happy, and also I don't want this craft to become overly expensive, we don't need a very intricate and huge relay network, we just need it to be decent. So, <clears throat> these relay satellites, just putting in some battery power, making sure that they have enough, you know, juice, and uh, relay antennas, power generation-wise, everything. So, that's that part of the par of the ship. So, now we're designing the stage to get everything to Minmus, and that's this guy. So, this guy should hopefully propel everything to Minmus, and once we are there, then it, we don't need it anymore. Okay, yeah, that's better. 1500, I, I, I like it to be 1.5 thousand meters per second, res despite the fact that Minmus doesn't need that much, but still. All right, encase everything into a nice, fat, juicy fairing. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this 1.8 or 2.0. Okay, so, yes, 2.5 meters, and then we need a tank and something simple let's see big as tank and then the even bigger engine where is my mainsail mainsail yeah i cannot i cannot distinguish them after they've been reskinned you know it's it's really hard to find them so <laughs> yeah start, sorry about that anyway that being said now we need to, we are almost done with building the rocket see it's a rather simple rocket it n doesn't need to have too much oomph as long as it you can you know, fly st straight and true i'm pretty much happy i just want it to be aerodynamically stable good that's it and then we need a launch table and basically you know test and launch and whatever now do we need side boosters? I don't think so. Separatrons. Almost, I, I almost wouldn't go with the side boosters. However, launch table, that's something that we can clearly put. Look, good enough. I actually like it. All right. We just have to auto strut everything so that the things don't, don't start falling off the moment we give them a try. And uh, we will be putting up, you know, groups, one for the antenna, two for the voltaic panels and everything else. Extending the solar panels. I you typically go where I put 
8, 9, 10 groups for the side things, while the, the, the main craft should use 1, 2, and 3. 5 I usually put for the cargo bay and some for the experiments and whatnot. Alright, let's kick this one. Rockets running straight and true. So far, decent thrust to weight. I have even redu reduced the thrust a little bit because, well, this is just testing and I want to make sure I will not be going... This is the, to show that it's aerodynamically stable, that it can get to orbit and with the enough delta V to perform what I needed to perform. And then uh, since we have a lander craft, which should be returning back, I will probably perform the re-entry re just to see that it works as intended. So without further ado, let's get it into the orbit. Simulation active. Yes, those simulation costs, and I'm actually, you know, more now inclined to design missions to uh, Duna, Eve, Ike, Jewel, and whatnot. However, the reason why I'm actually thinking I want to do this one is because of money. Overall, if I read that correctly, this will net us a little less than half a million kerbucks, and we need half a million kerbucks. Yep. My designs are really expensive, and I go over the top, and usually I will, you know, go broke otherwise. So, all right, let's do the circularization burn. I wouldn't be a good agency manager. I'm really suck at finances when it comes to it. I spend all the money that I earn. What can I tell you? So, there we go. Okay, the burn is in one minute and one second. And as we point prograde, I'm probably gonna ditch the fairing just to make this craft look nicer. There we go. Beautiful. Extending the solar panels, extending the antenna. All right, so now we can start the burn in 20 seconds and then we will be checking out how much Delta V do we have left after this bad boy is done. So, all right, 3.6 thousand, that should actually be more than enough. However, the top stage is only for coming back. So 1.4 thousand to get to Minmus. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly happy with that. Let's just do some tests now. First things first, what I do want to be testing is to, de let's decouple one of the satellites. Come on, any. All right, extend antenna, decouple, bam. There we go. Now let's try this satellite, will it work? If I extend the solar panels, bam, works. Control, works. Relay antennas, work. All right. Let's see how much delta we have 0.4 thrust to weight, plenty. All right, one more thing to test is this. Uh, let's just decouple the rest. Come on, hatunk, bye bye. And now let's test this little lander. So what I wanted to do just go a little bit to the side and then go back. Retrograde burn pretty heavily retrograde because I do want to get this craft back into the orbit to see if all the experiments and everything that we do will indeed survive. That's kind of the final test, so, all right. And that's the reason why I've put these uh, foldable solar panels. We fold them back and there we go. Now let's check the rigorous heats of re-entry and if those will be working as intended. Perfect. And we have a re-entry followed by a shoot opening. All right. Let's ditch the blader shield, there we go. And as you can see, the whole thing coming back, it's pretty nice, meaning that we can actually 
that's good because that means that it will survive the re-entry all right there we go looks good terminating the simulation and i'm gonna be queuing it up for the building all right so i'm just gonna auto strut this put it in a dark gray color no actually i like red all right guys i think it's time to wrap it up for this episode you know what to do as always like if you like the video it tells the youtube algorithm that you're enjoying the content and gives me extra motivation to do stuff uh, and i will see you in the next one thank you very much for watching this is Groundworks signing off.